Wake County Sheriff Gerald Baker now defending how his office is spending your money. Good evening. I'm Russ Bowen. I'm Angela Taylor. CBS 17 is getting answers tonight, two months after we first reported about concerns over finances in the Wake County Sheriff's Office. CBS 17's Michael Hyland sat down with Sheriff Baker today, and Michael, he's standing by a lot of those decisions he made. Right, he even put out this report with more than 100 pages of supporting documents, but I asked him if anything is going to change. I am not in the high. Wake County Sheriff Gerald Baker is speaking with CBS 17 for the first time since we reported in October on these internal memos from Wake County leaders. They outlined a variety of concerns with his management, questioning his spending of taxpayer money and saying he violated policies, including with promotions. One memo reads that it adds risk when employees are placed in positions they are not qualified to hold. We have been working together concerning those issues. That's, that's what I'm saying to you. He shared this 173-page report he sent to the county manager. I asked Sheriff Baker about one issue cited, that he hired vendors for food services and medical testing at the jail without getting competing contracts. Baker argues he needed to act quickly. They may be inmates, but they're still human beings, and they were being fed food that, you know, most people wouldn't even throw out the back door to a dog. I don't apologize for that. Will that be a practice going forward, though? Well, I mean, again, you know, this is the sheriff's office, and I have the, the, the authority to, to make decisions of what happens in here. He told me what frustrated him was how these memos got out. He believes supporters of prior sheriff Donnie Harrison tried to discredit him. It should have never happened. And the reason it happened is because, you know, there's some folks that, well, unfortunately, are still supporters of the the last administration. He spoke positively about his relationship with county manager David Ellis, saying he's worked with him for several months to respond to these issues. Late today, a spokesperson for Wake County sent me an email saying that county leaders stand by the memos that they sent to Sheriff Baker, and they are working with him on these issues. If you want to see this report, we've posted it on the CBS 17 mobile news app. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News. Michael, thanks for that update. And if there is something you want CBS 17 to get answers to, just let us know. Send an email to investigates at cbs17.com, and we'll get to work to find out what's going on.